folks. In this video, I'm going to talk about Pandas Python library. Pandas is one of the most widely used Python libraries in data science today. It provides high performance and easy to use structures and data analysis tools. One of those structures is in memory 2D table, two dimensional table called data frame. So let's look at some of the things which you can do with Pandas library. For this practical purposes, I'm going to use Google Colab. Google Colab is a free Jupyter notebook available to you to access to anybody. All you need is a Gmail ID. Now what I want to do is leave a video link in the description below. So in this video description, you see at the bottom, you would find a YouTube link for a video for you to enable on Google Colab. So just to let you know, the link is colab.research.google.com. Use your Gmail ID, log into it. Number two, you can change the runtime here. The runtime could be GPUs or TPUs, and it's free. You don't have to pay anything. It's free from Google. So let's get started. The first step is import pandas as pd. Just click on this particular thing and you see that the pandas is a library is imported as pd. pd is the alias name which I'm going to be using. Next is I'm going to define a data frame first underscore data frame is pd dot data frame. Please note that how data frame is written. City ID and the IDs. City ID is the column and these are the IDs 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 in square bracket. First underscore DF is going to print it. You can also write print first underscore data frame DF. If you run this, this is what you are seeing the report, the output. Here you would now create a table. So here it was one column data frame. Here I have three columns data frame. Very simple. DF1 equals ED, which is pandas dot data frame in curly braces, city ID, which is the first column, colon, and the IDs, comma. So this forms your first column with the header. This is your second column with the header and this is your third column with the header. DF1 would print it and this will be the output. Next, we are going to create another data frame. This time with humidity. Please note that this was temperature. Now we have humidity. So DF2 is pd.data frame city id the same columns city mumbai pune delhi solapur comma humidity these are the humidities let's run this here's how you run the data frame the 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 cell and city id city and humidity now what i want to do is you see that we have common city ids i'm going to merge these two data sets think of a table you have two tables now you are joining them merging them together let's do that so two data frames pd dot merge data frame one comma data frame two and on city id so i'm saying that merge on city ids because they are the common key you can merge it on city as well but just for the discussion sake let's do city id and i'm going to run this See here, you have city ID, city X, and Y because you have two data frames with the same name. Therefore, it says X and Y and humidity. So it's very easy. You took two data frames and then merged them together. Let's do some visualization. All right. So let's do visualizations using pandas and matplotlib. Matplotlib is another library which you can use for plotting. Now let me show you some commands before we go down to the real execution. For importing data from pandas, you can read 
through pd.readcsv and file name, read underscore csv file name. For reading a table, it's read underscore table, assuming pd is pandas. Read underscore excel, read underscore sql and so on and so forth. For exporting data, you have data frame dot to csv. To data frame from pandas, you say to csv, to excel, to sql table or to json. So that is for exporting. These are some basic commands, but again, would you remember all this? Probably not. And that is why when you run all these commands, there will be help helper class. So for example, if I go pd dot, this is how it helps. And that is why I suggest strongly to use Google Colab. Let's do that. Now, before we begin, you would need this file, which is covid underscore 19 dot CSV. How can you do, get that? In order to do that, all you need to do is go to a new tab, type tinyurl.com forward slash intro to pandas. If you type intro to pandas, you would be taken to a Google Drive link which in which you have this covid19.csv file. Make a copy, make a copy of this file into your drive. And this is the Python notebook, IPYNB, which I'm using it in this video. So again, tinyurl.com intro to pandas. That is the link you wanna go to get the data. So import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and import pandas at panda pd. Now I will paste another YouTube link in which it tells you how to access a file in your G drive. Now for practical purposes, I'm just gonna show it to you. On the left hand side, you see these files Make sure you mount the drive. I have already mounted. That's why it shows unmount. But make sure you have mount the drive and you would see the drive. If you want to copy the path, right click and say copy path. So again, on the left hand side, you have files. Mount drive, it's not mounted already. For me, it's mounted right now. And then right click the file. Let's say webinars intro to pandas and right click copy path and that is the path over here so content drive my drive webinars this is the path you would copy so i'm creating a data frame which is covid data frame using the covid19 data and i'm saying head because i have a lot of data i'm just using a command in data frame dot head dot head is going to help you to look at the top five records so i'm going to click this it read the file here and it's showing your five records the first five records you see that i have date country confirmed recovered and deaths as the columns next step i'm going to use a filter i'm going to find out what are my top 10 countries as of June 10th, 2020 affected by COVID? So let's read this. The first here, it is saying COVID underscore DF June 10th is the data frame, which is gonna be a new data frame. Using COVID underscore DF, filtering on COVID underscore DF date. This is how you will specify a column date in the data frame equals 2020 hyphen 06 hyphen 10 and then june 10th you would then do a group by country confirmed dot sum that means you have to sum it up because it's a it's a number and dot sort values ascending false that means descending 10. this is a command you would use to find out top 10 countries with confirmed COVID-19 cases 
and then display the top 10. Just pause the video, look at this, you will come to know. On June 10th, US has 2 million cases while India is number 5th. Next, I'm going to focus on US. So in US, I'm going to find out only the data from May 1st onwards. I don't worry about the data, anything beyond like before May 1st. So I'm going to create a new data frame. Use the COVID underscore data frame. Use the country equals equals US. That means I'm filtering on US. Again, on top of it, I'm filtering DF underscore USA date greater than or equal to 2025-01. So this USA data frame will have only US data with the date equal to or greater than May 1st. This is how it is, the top five records. I can change this to top 10, head 10 to look at the top 10 records, like the first 10 records. I can also use tail command. So print df.usa and if I do tail, it's gonna show me the last 10 rows. This is the head and this is the tail. Next on the list is, I'm gonna format the date from 2020-0501 to something like this, just for plotting purposes. So date formatted is a new variable. I'm using pandas dot to date time is another function using the USA data frame. Remember the USA data frame, which I took over here. And I'm gonna say only show me the month and the date. Running this, you can also check by removing this hash. Now let's plot. I'm not going to spend my time for telling you how to plot because that is for a different video. But this would plot number of cases, date formatted and confirmed cases in color blue. Look at that. All these dates over here and these are the confirmed cases over time. Note that, note that it says one raised to E6. E6 means two multiplied by one 10 to the power six would be two million. And then I can make it a little bit more interesting by adding to the same above plot, confirmed in blue color, deaths in red color and recovered in green color. Look at that. So I hope this gives you a little bit of understanding on various options you have just for a basic pandas. In the next video, I'm going to show you a cheat sheet of pandas, which is going to be covering a lot of detailed items. I hope this was helpful.